So now let me show you the differences about the old enclosure. Again, we talked about serviceability, backwards compatibility. That's a big thing. So if this is an infusion controller or if it's a queuing controller, we can deal with backwards compatibility. At some point, the old dimmer module won't be available and you'll have to use one of the new standard dimmer modules. The cool thing about the new standard dimmer module, it's really awesome, is that you won't even have to reprogram the system to stick that module in. The module will be plugged in and it looks like when it's plugged in an eight load module using the right components. So let us show you how that works really quick. In 2005, about February, we changed our enclosures and we have these plastic inserts. So to install this, we need to remove the terminal board. So let's say this dimmer module up here failed. So to remove it, we just go ahead and pull out the screws that are in the board. Remove the terminal boards after you've unwired. You need to use a screwdriver to pry these out of here. Okay, and let me talk to you about something here. If you look at these terminal boards, supports, you can see that these have a little jigsaw puzzle piece and they kind of slide together in there. Okay, so you can kind of see that they kind of fit together and then they kind of pull apart, you know, kind of, right? Problem is, is we've modified this can already just to make this video go a little quicker to see that we've cut that out of there. That would have to be removed if it was there. So in this panel, if that part was sitting there, it would have a piece here that has to be removed. Again, those have to come out of the way because when you order the new kit to replace it, you're going to order this kit right here. Okay, so it's the TRO SDM P kit. Okay, that kit consists of the back plane plastic like was in the new enclosure. Okay, a TRO SDM kit and some extra screws to mount that into. Okay. Again, in the kit that you get, you get both the left and right terminal boards. You get the, the labels for the left and right side, and you get a little baggie of screws, another baggie of screws in there in the instructions. So let's show you how this installation would be really quickly. So again, one thing you need to notice is in the new enclosure, it sits in like this. The bandage is up, stri up straight up. In an old enclosure, we turn it upside down, we take the four little short screws that they ship with this kit, and we use those to install this back plane in. Some people call them sleds around here, some people call them back planes. But you've got to install this in first. Okay, now that that's installed, we put in this eight load board, this eight load terminal board. That nice little eight load terminal board goes in there just like it did in the new enclosure. Instead of having 12 loads, it supports eight. You're not having to write any new programming or even pull out a computer. Because again, that module, when it goes in, it's in an eight load format. So you've quickly now just changed out And you now have a new module in an old enclosure. So now let me kind of show you an enclosure. This is a prior to 2005. This is a two module enclosure that was again prior to 2005 about February. We have what we call a PEM stud in here where we showed you these brackets that were in the other enclosure, these plastic brackets that hold the terminal board. These had little metal studs that held the terminal board. Let's go ahead and remove these and show you how you would change this out real quick. So again, you unwire your high voltage from this. Remove the six short screws that are in there. You want to save those six short screws for our kit that we ship doesn't ship with those screws. Okay. 
And then what you'd want to have is you'd want to make sure you order an STM, sorry, a TRO STM dash kit. Okay? In that kit is the same as what you saw in the dash P kit. Okay, one thing you need to know is this kit, again, consists of the boards for eight loads. And it simply just goes back together the way it came out. You use the short screws. And again, the key is here, we're backwards compatible. Clear back to these old enclosures. Doesn't matter, again, if it's a, it's a fusion system or a Q system. We'll support those. The only thing different is we don't have any place for you to put those new labels that we sent you. So you just won't be using them at all. If you're not sure what enclosure you have, you need to go service enclosure. You want to order an S, a TRO SDM-P-Kit because you can just throw away the piece of plastic or save it for the next time you might need it. Again, there you go. Now you've stuck a new dimmer module in an enclosure that was before 2005. Thanks for spending time with us today. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to talk to you about our new enhanced lighting control solution and platform. The goal here at Vantage is to provide a powerful solution with an inherent technical features and gives you the ease of both programming and installation, which is critical to successful delivery of a lighting control solution in the luxury space. Please, if you have any questions, go to our website at VantageControls.com or go see our YouTube videos on installation and programming the Vantage Control Solution. Thanks and have a great day.